three. The reenactment involves a 100 pound dummy, the same weight as Rebecca Zahau, dropped off a 16 foot scaffolding about the same height as the balcony at the Spreckles Mansion in Coronado. And the rope, similar to the one used in Zahau's hanging in 2011. This rope, in this case, was a very thin three-ply nylon rope. Uh, it had zero elasticity. So the full force of nine feet in a free fall would have gone directly on her neck. Zahau's neck was not broken, and a long drop hanging of about nine feet should have broken her neck, according to the Zahau family attorney, Keith Greer. There were no dislocations of any vertebrae, no injuries to the vertebrae, relatively minor injury to the neck, really more consistent with her death being a, you know, a manual strangulation where somebody just put pressure on her windpipe to the point where she died for lack of oxygen and a very slow death. The point of the reenactment is to convince the San Diego medical examiner to change Zahau's cause of death from suicide to either homicide or undetermined. Sheriff Bill Gore ruled the death a suicide, but in 2018, a civil jury found Adam Shackney liable for Zahau's death. And the Zahau family will soon file a new lawsuit against Sheriff Gore, demanding that he turn over more records from his investigation. We think it's likely this is going to wind up in court again. And so we're really setting a solid record of uh, really definitive, uh, convincing evidence uh, so that next time we get before a judge, the decision is you know, quick and certain. The Zahau family received $600,000 from the insurance company of Adam Shackney in settlement of that wrongful death lawsuit. Now they're using some of that money to pay for new litigation against Sheriff Gore and for that reenactment. Carlo? All right, David, now we, we do want to be clear. Adam Shackney did not pay for that settlement. His insurance company did, and he still maintains his innocence. That's absolutely correct, uh, Carlo. You know, by my count, there's been four reenactments now. News 8 did a reenactment in 2011. Inside Edition did one in 2018. Oxygen Channel did one in 2019, and now this latest one paid for, for by the family. It's still unbelievable to me that nine years after Rebecca Zahau's death, these issues, this case is still not resolved. And in fact, it may be going back to court now with this latest litigation. Looks like it could be going that way. Thank you, David.